Good morning, night, mga good vibes. Ang pagkakasabi na kayo with your hectic day at gusto nyong mag-relax. Don't worry, di namin kayo pababayaan. So just sit back and relax as you watch another awesome episode of The Tim Yap Show Season 6. Now with more good vibes galing sa mga kagaya ko, kagaya mo, kagaya nating lahat na merong... This more night, we want to honor those who did so much hard work para marating nila ang kinaroroonan nila ngayon. These celebs had very humble beginnings at di nila ito pinagkakaila kahit kailan. In fact, they're very proud of it. This is the top edition of Yap Take Reloaded. Ang ating pambansang kamao na si Manny Pacquiao ay isang inspirasyon para sa lahat. From his humble beginnings as an amateur boxer na lumalaban para makatulong sa pamilya to being the world's best fighter pound for pound, si Pacman ay tunay na success story. Jerry Corosales knows hardship at marami itong mga naging odd jobs. Mula sa pagiging tagalinis ng isda sa palengke, isang service crew at isang personal driver, ginawa lahat ito ni Echo para sa nanay niya. Ang employer niya na pinagmamaneho niya ang nagsuggest na sumali siya sa Mr. Pogi Contest ng Eat Bulaga at yun ang nag-umpisa sa kanyang matagumpay sa showbiz career. Bago siya naging isang artista at bago pa siya naging isang successful na restaurateur, Marvin Agustin used to work in several restaurants. Napaka-inspiring dahil nag-360 degrees siya at bumalik sa food industry matapos maging isang sikat na artista. Hadala ka naman ng food, Marvin! Rated PG lang, Rosa. <laughs> May minsan hindi kinahiya ni Daisy Reyes na labandera ang nanay niya at proud na proud siyang sabihin itong naging dahilan kung bakit hardworking siya at may integridad. Sumasali siya noon sa mga singing contest at nang madiskubre siya ng isang talent scout na sumali sa Bilibining Pilipinas at nanalo siya ng Bilibining Pilipinas World. Ngayon ay isa na siyang counselor sa Patero City. Beauty brings a determination. Yan ang naging susi sa success ni Venus Ra. From the pilapils of Camarines Sur to the catwalks of top fashion designers, malayo na ang narating ng ating Miss Universe 4th runner-up. Dati, kulang ang hinahanap niya. Ngayon, iskargot na ang hinahanda sa kanya. Yan ang ganit. Comedy queen at comedy concert queen na si Aya Idales Aras ngayon, pero her humble beginnings keep her grounded. Nag-umbisa siya as a sales lady ng isang department store at nag-stand-up comic din siya sa isang comedy bar kung saan siya na-discover. Kaya hindi ako pwede sa comedy bar kasi kahit naka-stand-up na ako, pinapatayo pa ako. Kaya hindi ka pwede sa comedy bar kasi ako yun mo. Eh, bakit nandito pa ako? Eh kasi mahal ka namin. <laughs> Hirap at sakripisyo ang ginawa ni Vice Mayor Isko Moreno bilang isang scavenger at takatakboy sa tundo. Nang madiskobre siya at naipasok sa Dats Entertainment, Isko star continued to rise. Sa ngayon, siya na ang Vice Mayor ng Manila. Yep, next they are also working very hard to reach their dreams and what a pair of hardworking, beautiful ladies they are. Rita de Guzman and Colleen Perez join us tonight here on the Timmy App Show Season 6. Be part of the online conversation. Gamitin ang hashtag the Timmy App Show Season 6 at tag us on Twitter, pati na rin sa Instagram at official Timmy App. Ito na, sabay-sabay natin sabihin. Ikaw, hashtag ka na ba?
Welcome back to the TMF Show. Dito sa ating show, we like to discover the best and the brightest of the new generation sa mga current crop ng mga telenovela. Sinong tingin namin si Sikat and will make a mark from your TV sets. Now, kasama natin, sino siya? She's in More Than Words. Siya ang kontrabida sa More Than Words. Here with us on the TMF Show tonight, please welcome Colleen Perez. Ayun, yeah. kamusta naman? Hello! Hello po! Mwah. Kamusta naman ang buhay bilang kontrabida sa More Than Words? Masaya siya. Actually, ang daming pwedeng gawin na stage, uh, stage antics. Kasi mm. yung role ko, hindi siya basta-basta masungit na kontrabida. Oh. Kontrabida siya na may pagka-slow. So, oh. meron siyang konting comic timing. Oh. Okay yun na. So, minsan nag-iisip ako na, okay, paano ba magtago ang hindi ganong katalino? So, patago ako sa loob ng bag. Oh. Yung mga ganong eksena. Oh, Kaya, so, it's a comic ano? It's a... Yes po. Uh, comic kontrabida. Kontra mm. Pago yun ha? Kaya ano, siguro yung sungit ni... Tatlo kasi kaming Mean Girls. Paano oh. yung Mean Girls lang sa movie? Mm. Yung sungit ni Bell at saka ni Chelsea, ako yung nag-break. Mm. So, ang role ko parang yung kay Amanda Seyfried. Yes! yes. Oo, sa Mean siya. Girls talaga. Mm -mm. Sa Mean oh. Girls talaga siya. Kamusta naman ang pangapi kay, ano, kay Janine? Oh my God, na-feel ko yung ano. Kasi minsan medyo nag-regret kami. Parang may konting consensya factor. Kasi deep inside, mabait talaga kami. Hindi talaga Oo kami nga. mean. Oo nga, I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> Hindi talaga Oo. kami mean. So, minsan pag nang, nang bubuli kami, parang nagsasabi, sorry, sorry, sorry. Acting lang yun, ha? Acting Oo, lang yun, wala personalan na. Pero masaya naman, sa set naman kasi is sobrang bait. Sobrang bait ni Jenny, nag-uusap-usap kami, ganyan. So, because also you guys are the, of the same age, so parang yes. barkada rin yan, mm -hmm. di ba? Same. Parang, actually, may kasama kami isa pa. Parang mm. same age namin lagi si Miss Yayo. So, mm, Yayo Aguila, of... same age. Yes, oh, oh. Oh. Laging pag nasa Viber groups, oh, saan tayo hang out? Tara, dinner tayo. Cute ganun, naman. ganun lang yung oh. mga usapan namin. How did you get into show business? Uh, I, it's a, it's a very interesting story, I must mm. say. Kasi, I first work in the production of Maynila okay. as my OJP. And then parang hidden feeling ko, hidden, hidden passion ko na siya. Na I did workshops sa PETA, ganyan. Parang trip ko lang. Oh. Try lang. And then one time, after college, medyo na heartbroken ako. Mm. And if that time, I I didn't look artist actually. I was 145 pounds. Oh, so wow. imagine the difference, <clears throat> diba? And then heartbroken ako medyo. I, I wasn't doing anything. Uh, at parang natanggal ako sa job ko nun. So what I did, tumambay ako sa dance studio. So I took the 12 to 2 p.m. class and then the 5 to 9 p.m. class every day. Wow! And then yun lang yung ginagawa ko until parang tinawag ako ulit ng Maynila to, to guest for their show as ano naman yun. Kontrabida din. Oh, I was... Pero hindi ka na 145 pounds doon. No, not anymore. Oh, so, pwede time, ka dito ka ba to? No, oh, 130 naman yun. Mm. I lost... Uh, 20, uh, 15 pounds na nun. So, 130. Medyo big for, for TV, but compared to the initial one, it was kind of okay. Uh, ang role ko doon, other woman naman. Wow! Oh, diba? <laughs> Pag-contrabida pa rin. Mm. And then, starting from there, like, I saw the opportunity, and then, nagsimula na yung audi nag auditions ako for commercials, I got in commercials, I did films, I did short films for schools, like CSB, La Salle, And then and I also did theater. That wow. was that was the one that taught me how to do heavy acting, drama. Because in theater, it's it's not really easy. Eh. You mm. have to you have to fix in your character before you set on stage until you exit the stage. And it's live, walang take two. Live, walang that. take two. Memorize mo lahat. Oh. If mawala ka sa line, dapat um, makuha mo siya or dapat masalo ka ng ka-partner mo. Pero it's a, it's an experience. It's yes. really a great experience, especially for an artist. Ang dami ko natutunan dahil... Ano pa mga goals mo now that you've lost the weight, you're gaining roles and uh, attention from uh, from the industry? Ano pang mga goals mo next? Ako, ang goal ko is... Um, To lose more weight. Okay. Kasi so, tuloy-tuloy mo yeah, yung dance tuloy -tuloy class mo? Yeah, tuloy-tuloy para ng oh. diet. Tuloy-tuloy para ng workout. And to do more challenging roles. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, gusto, hindi lang naman kontrabita gusto kong gawin. Gusto ko rin yung mga 
medyo ina-ape, ganyan. Or yung mga super character roles, kagaya ni Maleficent. Bida ko, terbida siya doon. Oh. Hindi madaling gawin yun. Yung mga roles na may kita yung talent ko sa acting, yun po. Well, at least alam mo yung gusto mo, di ba? Mm. That's what's important, di ba? Yes. Some And people, more mm. independent films. Okay. Because I really started from independent films and I have my heart for them. Wow. Kind But uh, yun nga, mas, mas mahirap nga yung trabaho dyan, di ba? Mas mahirap po because not, it's more uh, raw. Walang glamour, oo. Oh. Yes, it's more raw, it's more natural. It's more of fresh new ideas from the, lalo na from the new directors. Mm. Lalo na, especially the one na nakatrabaho ko for first ko si third. Uh, ang gusto ko doon, lahat kami, since we're young, batuhan kami ng ideas. Ah, what do you think with this scene? Maganda ba? O sige, anong tingin mo? So, lahat kami open for some questions. So, na-feel mo yung uh, participation mo, not just yes. as, a, as an actress, but also as a parang collaborator a the in the film. Mm -hmm. So good. So at least as as young as you are, how old are you now? I'm 20. At 20, yeah. you're able to do theater, you're able to do mm -mm. film, you're yes. able to do TV. So na ikut mi mga iba ibang disciplines ng art. Yes. Oh. Ah. Uh, it's, it's a passion. I enjoy doing everything, even the long hours. I feel ko ano karen, magu beauty queen karen, sa sali karen sa pad. <laughs> Kung kaya na figure ko. <laughs> Kaya mo pagirapan yung from 145, you were able to. You know, go down and, yes. uh, di ba? And tuli tuli pa yon, di ba? Tuli tuli pa rin. Um, super diet. You need to watch the calories. Plus, you need to balance it with the heavy cardio. But you you seem like a very determined and ano uh, and uh, disciplined person. Yes, thank diba? you. So pag yes. kanya naman kaya naman ma achieve yan. Thank you very much. That's very good. So I wish you all the best, and I'm sure you will uh, reach all those goals. Kailangan mo na talaga pagsikapan ng mabuti. You mean yes. you're starting out, di ba? Agree ako. Okay, very good. Keep it up. Yes. Keep it up. Ayan. Yep. Next, we have another young talent who is making waves in this industry, not just on TV but also in music. Nato mga yung pag-usapan natin. O sino pa isang guest natin? Malalaman yon. So we're going to go back now. And we are back for the Kenya show. Karina, kasama with somebody from More Than Words. Ngayon naman, let's hop to another telenovela, Strawberry Lane, na katatapos lang. She was here before and we are so proud that she's gonna be back here to promote her album. Ladies and gentlemen, Rita De Guzman. Rita Daniela! Who won the world, Rita? <laughs> Rita! Kahit hindi na grime yun ang kasi. Hello! Mwah! So, uh, what was it like being on Strawberry Lane? Masaya, kasi sa lahat po ng um, contributor roles na nagawa ko, ito yung pinaka talagang mahirap. Hmm. Kasi hindi siya talaga yung masasabi mong contributor lang eh. Kasi yung character, si Lavinia, mabait talaga siya. Pangalan so, pa lang, di ba? Contributor so, na, di ba? Lavinia. 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 So, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh. so, yun. So, yun. Siyempre, may reason kung bakit siya nagiging kontrabida. Tsaka mahirap siya kasi actually yung si Lavinia yung karakter niya. Parang ano siya eh, bipolar. Mm -hmm. So anytime, babae siya. Paano mo na, time. ano, paano mo napasok sa utak mo yung bipolar? I mean, you know, how, how do you shift, shift, switch, switch, pag gano'n? Hindi ko rin po alam kung paano ko po yung nagawa ng, mm -hmm. <laughs> ng maayos. Basta inisip ko lang na ito kung sino to, kaya ganito kailangan niya. Pero hindi naman din... Kami masyado nahirapan kasi may nag-guide naman sa amin. Meron kaming acting coach, mm -hmm. si Yan Yuzon. So, mm -hmm. naalagaan naman wow, na kami. Wow, si Yan Yuzon ang yes. inyong acting coach. Yes, naalagaan naman. Oh, dahil isa rin ng... bipolar, hindi lang kailangan <laughs> Yes, <laughs> <laughs> joke lang. Oh. Namusto. So, kaya med medyo hindi mo kami nahirapan. Ah, and, and again, working with, you know, si Nabea and all that. That's, mm -hmm. that's yung... Opo, Miss Sunshine and Miss oh, Cheryl. Sobrang grabe. Ang galing nila. Meron ba sila natulungin sa'yo? Ang dami po talaga namin Grabe po talaga. Hmm. From being humble, yun talaga yung the best eh. Kasi... That's the be biggest thing that you learn opo, from them. Humility. Opo kasi, yes, opo kasi kahit na po, anong oras na po kami nag-work, syempre sila po yung mga veteran actress. 
Pero hindi sila nagko-complain. Ano, talagang work. Work kung work. Kapag kailangan natin tapusin to, let's do this. Oh. Galing. What great lessons to learn from, you know, from top names in the industry. Yes. Diba? And then now, I'm so happy, Rita. I finally, and I told you talaga kailangan magwa, magwa mo na to early on in your career is to have an album. Diba? People should hear your voice because napagaling mong kumanta at mag-perform. Diba? So, ano, paano naman na, paano, paano pinanganak tong album mo to? Actually, uh, matagal na pong plano to. Ngayon lang um, nagawa. Ngayon lang siya by Jimmy Records. What is this album about? Ano yung mga kanta mo? Uh, meron ka bang sinuwag na kanta with it? Yes, yes. Oh, great. Um, meron kayo marilumig na dalawang songs from me. Ano yung uh-huh. kong song. So, yung album ko, Dance, Art, and Visha. So, very good. Very different That's, from... Kaya na kaya mo naman yung genre ngayon, diba? Yes. Medyo pinipeg namin yung Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Kasi diba, wala pa masyadong sumagawa na dito sa Pilipinas eh. And, yun, gusto ko siya. Kasi diba para sa akin, uh, para rin mo walang image ko na popster kid na parang, para kasi sa akin most puro sweet. So, I think um, medyo tapos na tayo sa ganun. So, dapat pakita naman natin. So, mag-feature na tayo ngayon. May dropping. Joke. Pino. Midway muna. Oh. Wait, tapos pa rin. Ganun. So, sexy, sexy na slide lang. Medyo. Why would you post for men's magazine eventually? Pero... Siguro, pero hindi ganito hindi ka ako. Kasi darating tayo. Dahan-dahan. Dahan. Yes, wag agad-agad. Kasi pag ginawa natin lahat, parang ano nang matitira. Tama. Oh, wala uh, na. Magasin lang matitira. So siguro pag mga um, pa-30, ganon. Wow, oh. pa-30? <laughs> matagal pa naman yun eh. Oo, tsaka oo. Oh, huwag na natin isipin. Oh. Matagal pa yun. Oh, but you know, maganda nga is to savor every step. Yes. of your being in the industry and now Oo it's about naman. time for you to have an album. Enjoy ko muna to. Anong pangalan ng album mo? Wala pa po actually. Um... Ang title niya, Wala pa po. <laughs> yes! Ang <laughs> <laughs> oh, ganda yun. Ang ganda kanta. <laughs> May pinag-iisipan pa kasi hmm. ongoing pa rin ang process hmm. ng album. Ooh, okay, but we want to hear, um, you know, a snippet, uh, some uh, sneak peek from you uh, galing sa album mo. Of course. So ito, Ipi-play ko siya dito. Sige. Ready, no? <laughs> Ang galing. Maestro, side A. You know, track 2. <laughs> Itong song na to, ako nag-compose na to. So, ako mm. yung gumawa ng lyrics and music. It's a Tagalog song. Ito, ito talaga yung music ko eh. Medyo jazz, no, R&B. So, sana mo gusto nyo. 1, 2, 3. Hey! Di lang ikaw ang kahanap ng kayakap sa gabi Di lang ikaw ang ba'y minamahal Di lang ikaw ang naghihintay sa tunay na pag-ibig Giliw ako itong nagmamahal ng tapat Tila ba ay ikaw lamang ang nilalang sa mundo Ako yung napapaiti Tumitibok-tibok ang puso ko Sa piling mo ako ay parang nasa langit Wow! Diba? Galing naman. Ang namig ng boses, diba? It's about a tongue. Tongue you. Diba? Di lang ikaw. O, diba? You fair this, ha? O, diba? Pwede yun, diba? Pero ang ganda, ang namig ng boses. Tapos nafe-feel ko talaga yung yung pinaparating mo daba. Thank you, thank you po. Tsaka, catchy, ha? Parang ngayon, it's playing in my mind. Salamat. Sana po pag lumabas. Portahan. Of course. Portahan. And uh, aside from that, ano ano pa iba mo ang kanta doon? Isa. So that one, narinig niyo, first time to hear it here, it's called Bilang Ikaw. Yes. Um, actually, yung Fallen by Mr. Johnny Gibbs, mm. i-revive ko din yun. So actually, nag-air na siya eh, kasi um, ni-repeat ng Jemmy yung Full House. Mm-hmm. So ginamit yung version ko as the theme song. Oh, Full And, House? Yes, okay. part din yun ng album ko. So, hindi ba namin talaga yung feel ng song? Mm-hmm. Medyo 
drama, pero may kating sexy. So, everything actually, everything na marinig niya sa, sa album ko, sexy na jazz, R&B, medyo sensual, mag, parang usher. Actually, sila yung, sila yung ano ko eh, um, music inspiration. Idols. Yes, oh. Justin Timberlake, music, usher music. Mag and I love it that you make your own music and you write your own songs. That's, you. uh, that's uh, you know, I salute your creativity. Thank you, know? thank you. Ayun, so please invite uh, our viewers to, you know, to support you in your music. Yes, uh, sana po uh, supportan po natin ang music ng Pilipino. Uh, sana po ang mga album ko, Dito the Good Man. And can I say thank you to my sponsors? Of course. Thank you. Um, of course, thank you, Vance, Elorde Boxing Gym, Gymaholic Creations by Lord Ramos, The Skin Specialist by Dr. Jean, Bittersweet, and Leilandia. Thank you so much. Si and of course, ikaw. the Timyap. Kuya, oh, thank diba? you. Oh, salamat, salamat thank din. You, thank you. Thank and you. And I'll always support the young talents sa talagang who are pushing the boundaries and who are really creative and who are making new things and making new music. Good luck to you, Rita, thank Rita you de Guzman. Let's thank support you, Rita. Diba? Thank magaling, you, magaling so ka talaga. Alam mo yun? <laughs> Salamat. Yan ang good vibes, mga, uh, you know, mga bagong talents that are really pushing the scene para meron tayong mga bagong magawa ng music na kailangan support ka ka gaya ng Rita. Rita Daniela de Guzman. Yes, thank you. Diba? Rita Daniela. Yan, Rita <laughs> Daniela. There. Ah, but, but si Rita de Guzman, diba? Yes, I'm still... Rita pero, Daniela yeah, de Guzman. Rita Daniela. Um, name ko pa rin yun. Oh. Pero... Medyo, ikaw gusto mo ba? Kung hindi mo, Rita Daniela? Ako, oh, gusto ko pareho. Gusto ko pareho? Hmm, Sige, Rita Daniela na. Ayun, Rita, Rita Daniela. Daniela. There you go, di ba? Talaga nakaka-good vibes. Lagi sinasabi, dapat laging good vibes para laging good times. Kasama si Rita Daniela at kanina si Colleen Perez. You are watching the Kenya Show. Good night! Good night!